with us now is Sandra Radner. Welcome, how are you? How are you? Thank you. Now, Sandra uh, is an attorney at law, and tell us the name of your firm. It's Radna and Andrew Siglio. And you've been there at that practice since 1995? Yes. And what type of law do you specialize in? Well, we're general practice. For us, that means uh, medical malpractice, personal injury, divorces, family court custody cases, child support. We represent people who are seeking order of protections in cases of domestic violence. Uh, we basically help people who need help and who are in trouble. Now, why did you decide to go into law? I actually started off as a pre-med. Okay. I went through nursing school. When I got into a hospital, I just really didn't like the way. It wasn't for me. Uh, but I wanted to use what I learned in pre-med. I had worked at Nassau University Medical Center when it used to be Nassau County Medical Center in the Poison Control Center. So I knew how to read medical records. I was interested in helping people. I was interested in the medical field. So my first job out of law school was medical malpractice. In law school, you could basically take anything that you've used in your prior life, whether it be music, you become an entertainment lawyer, to medicine and become a medical malpractice lawyer, or, or anything that's your uh, prior background, and use it in your career. And um, I got my first job in a medical malpractice defense firm. After I was there for a while, I felt that I wanted to be on the other side. I wanted to help people who had other problems besides uh, just maybe hospitals and insurance companies. And I went to the other side. I worked for a general practice attorney, and I got to learn how to do a little of everything, and I enjoy it. I, I'm getting to help people, and I'm getting to use what I learned in my medical background. And what was the moment um, that you said internally, you know what, I think I could hang my own shingle. I, thi I think I want to do something that's just a little different. When, what was that for you? It was when I was working at the big firm, had okay. 202 attorneys, and Basically, I never dealt with people. I was just reporting to an insurance company. I went to court. I dealt with other attorneys. I learned a lot, but I felt that I wanted to be face-to-face -face with people. And I knew that the way to do that was to be a sole practitioner, or in my case, a partnership, but in a small firm, doing general practice. There's not a lot of us out there anymore. A lot of people specialize, but we like helping people. We call ourselves attorneys for every aspect of your life. Basically, whatever your situation is, we could help, we could help you with it. Well, like the cabaret song from Cradle to Tomb, I guess, right? Something it's like, like that, right? Something, exactly, actually. <laughs> and so I guess you have fun doing what you do. I get a lot of job satisfaction doing what I do. I, you know, when a, a victim of medical malpractice comes to me, I can get them the justice that they deserve. When someone's going through a horrible divorce situation, I can be their voice when they don't have one. Um, if someone hasn't seen their child for a long time because of a custody battle, I get their child back for them, and there's a lot of satisfaction in that. Um, a victim of domestic violence who is in great fear of their abuser, that I can get them an order of protection and tell them you're safe now and give them avenues so that they don't have to be in fear. That's, that's very satisfying. I like helping people, and it's and because I do a little bit of everything, I don't feel like I'm getting burnt out doing one thing. Right. Every person is individual and you take the time to like really work specifically with them. Absolutely. So Absolutely. In, right. Most of my clients feel like they're, I'm their only client. And that's because how they I should, right? Them. That's right. That's how it should be. I, when I go to court on a divorce case, I'm not there on 50 cases at once. I'm there on their case. I'm sitting with them. I'm basically holding their hand through the whole process. I speak to them on the phone so I know what their case is about. I'm not just looking at a file. They're not a number to me. They're not just a, a case to me. They're a person. How do you ensure that client um, relationship and, and you protect your clients? What steps do you take? I start off every client relationship with a consultation, a meeting, where we go over everything, what their particular situation is. By the time we're done with that meeting, they have a plan, so they know exactly what's going to be happening. So in the example of someone in the situation of domestic violence, they're very scared. And there's all different varying degrees of that. There's some people, I, I recently represented someone where the um, husband was in jail based on uh, attempted murder charges and he was going to be getting out soon. So we didn't only set her up with an order of protection, we set her up through um, something they have through the court called uh, Safe Horizons and they actually helped her out. They can give her a safe place to go. They can have actually monitoring at her house for her. So she felt safe for her and her children, that it wasn't just an order of protection, which is a piece of paper that maybe he could still find her. With these safe houses, she can actually be hidden from where he can't find her. So that was her particular situation. Other people, it's not that severe. So you work with their particular situation. 
Having a plan and knowing what's going to happen next is very empowering. And picking an attorney is like a marriage. You need to find someone that you're comfortable with, that you can talk to. Um, I can't say that I'm the best attorney for everyone, but for my clients, it's, there's a fit there. And right. you know it at that meeting. And by the time they leave, they know what's going to be happening. And that's what gives them the empowerment that they need to go on with their case. It's almost like you're not just an attorney, you're really an advocate. Like you're really their friend and you're there to represent them. Absolutely. I'm their voice. I'm their voice, which is what they need because they're going through a stressful situation. They can't find their voice. It's very emotional for them. I'm able to speak about it objectively and use the strength of the law and our court system to give them the protection they need. Well, I thank you so much for spending a little time with us and talking about, you know, the law and maybe dispelling some of the myths, if you will, um, on fear. So if you do have a reason that you would need a lawyer, um, you could reach out to someone like Sandra. And like she said, um, basically the most important thing is working with somebody that really cares about you, treats you like an individual, uh, and specializes and has the knowledge basically to uh, get a win because you deserve to win. That's right. <laughs> so That's thank right. you for your time. Thank you, Donna.